hello everybody. It's good to be watching this video today. What I want to do is invite and encourage you throughout the next year to really keep your eyes focused on Jesus. Here at our Redeemer Lutheran Church and School, our 2020 vision is just that. The writer of Hebrews tells us to keep our eyes fixed on Jesus, the author and the perfecter of our faith. That's our school theme throughout the year. As we celebrate 150 years at our Redeemer Church and School in Staplehurst, that's our theme for the year 2020. For 150 years, this congregation has kept their eyes focused on Jesus, and we look forward to the next 150 of doing that as well. One of those ways that we're keeping our eyes fixed on Jesus is going to be to be in God's Word daily. So, we're going to be putting these videos up every day during the weekdays, and we're going to do what we call a 5x5 five five program. So for five days a week, we're going to read five chapters of the New Testament, and in a year we will get through the entire New Testament. We're going to start with Mark, chapter 1 today, on January 1st and take us all the way through the different books, not going in order, because we're going from Mark to Acts, that, but we, through the next 365 days, we will get through the entire New Testament. Then on the weekends, we're going to have reflection videos on our website, on our YouTube page, on Facebook as well. So, I encourage you, if you would like, just to listen, because every day we will have somebody reading the chapter we are going through, and you can follow along with them, you can merely listen to them, or simply read on your own. Read, take in what God's Word has given to us and shows us for the gift of salvation, for the gift of life that He has. So I look forward to joining with you in our study of God's Word as we begin in Mark chapter 1. Simple five-minute reading every day, bringing us closer to God. So let us begin with Mark chapter 1. The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as it is written in Isaiah the prophet, Behold, I send my messenger before your face, who will prepare your way, the voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. John appeared baptizing in the wilderness and proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And all the country of Judea, all Jerusalem, were going out to him and were being baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel hair, and wore a leather belt around his waist, and ate locusts and wild honey. And he preached, saying, After me comes one he who is mightier than I, the strap of whose sandals I'm not worthy to stoop down and untie. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. In those days Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee, was baptized by John in the Jordan. And when he came up out of the water, immediately he saw the heavens being torn open and the Spirit descending on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, you are my beloved Son, with you I am well pleased. The Spirit immediately drove him out into the wilderness, and he was in the wilderness forty days, being tempted by Satan. And he was with wild animals, and the angels were ministering to him. Now after John was arrested, Jesus came into Galilee, proclaiming the gospel of God, and saying, The time is fulfilled, the kingdom of God is at hand, repent and believe in the gospel. Passing alongside the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew, the brother of Simon, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. And immediately they left their nets and followed him. And going on a little farther, he saw James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, who were in the boat, mending their nets. And immediately he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired servants and followed him. And they went into Capernaum, and immediately on the Sabbath he entered the synagogue, and he was teaching. And they were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one who had authority, not as the scribes. 
Immediately there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, What have you done with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be silent and come out of him. And the unclean spirit, convulsing him and crying out with a loud voice, came out of him, and they were all amazed, so that they questioned among themselves, Who is this? A new teaching with authority? He commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. And at once his fame spread everywhere throughout all the surrounding region of Galilee. And immediately he left the synagogue and entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Now Simon's mother-in-law lay ill with a fever. And immediately they told him about her, and he came and took her by the hand and lifted her up, and the fever left her. And she began to serve them. That evening at sundown they brought to him all who were sick or oppressed by demons. And the whole city was gathered together at the door, and he healed many who were sick with various diseases, and cast out many demons, and he would not permit them, the demons, to speak because they knew him. Rising very early in the morning while it was still dark, he departed and went out to a desolate place, and there he prayed. And Simon and those who were with him searched for him, and they found him and said to him, Everyone is looking for you. And he said to them, Let us go to the next towns, that I may preach there also, for this is why I came out. And he went out through all Galilee, preaching in their synagogues and casting out demons. And a leper came to him, imploring him, and kneeling, said to him, If you will, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand and touched him and said to him, I will be clean. And immediately the leprosy left him, and he was made clean. And Jesus sternly charged him and sent him away at once and said to him, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing what Moses commanded for a proof to them. But he went out and began to talk freely about it, and to spread the news, so that Jesus could no longer openly enter a town, but was out in desolate places, and people were coming to him from every quarter. This is Mark chapter 1. Thank you for joining me today as you hear the Word of God proclaimed and receive from Him God's gift of Christ given to us. We'll see you tomorrow as we continue on in Mark chapter 2.